This video is brought to you by Yellow Jacket. 70 years of expertise built into every tool. And by UEI Test Instruments. Essential Instruments. Outstanding service. Hey guys. Look, I'm just sitting outside, you know, uh, watching my daughter play. She's, uh, she's playing with uh, her sidewalk chalk, drawing stuff on the concrete. So if you can hear her in the background, that's what that is. I wanted to make this video just to update you guys on what's going on with me and my family and, and what's, you know, happening with the channel and then, you know, the Outlaws of HVAC channel that I'm... Uh, working with with uh, with Adam <clears throat> Joe uh, Justin K and Ken and uh, you know Ch we have Chance and Joel in there but Chance uh, has a pretty busy life he doesn't tune in he doesn't come in as much as the other guys uh, but he's still very much a part of it and so is Joel Joel's in the military which is why we don't see him much but he's still very much part of the group I want to take that outlaws of HVAC to the next level with these guys but I'm not able to do that right now because most of you that know and have been following me the past couple years I've been doing a lot of moving you know when we found out that our son was autistic and I know there's a lot of people out there with autistic kids and uh, some people are you know I've even been told that we're making too big of a deal out of it you know oh you didn't have to move just because he's autistic and blah 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 and uh I mean, we did have to. You know, autistic children need therapy, ABA therapy. I'm not exactly sure what ABA stands for. Uh, my wife knows all that. And in occupational therapy, and he doesn't talk, so he needs speech therapy. And none of that was available in Alexandria, Louisiana, which is where I was, where I had my company with my father. So I gave that up, and we moved to Lafayette, Louisiana. Lafayette, Louisiana is in South Louisiana. Um... It's a much bigger city than Alexandria, and we absolutely loved it there. Both my sisters live there. I have an aunt and an uncle that live there. My wife has cousins that live there. We absolutely love Lafayette. Well, about seven months ago, we left Lafayette because the therapy, according to the, our son's neurologist, the therapy he was getting in Lafayette wasn't really doing any good either, so she recommended some places here in Baton Rouge and uh which is where we live now right outside of baton rouge louisiana in a town called denham springs louisiana and he has been doing very well over here we've seen some improvements in him he's still not talking but we are seeing other behavioral improvements basically my wife and i do not like it here we don't like the baton rouge area reason being is is because it, it, it it's huge this is a big big city I mean, it's just we're not used to that. You know, we're me and my wife come from a very, very small town. Both of us were raised out in the country. This is in a very small area. And we just don't like this big city life. We don't. Lafayette is a big city, but nothing like this, you know. And, and there's places you can live outside of Lafayette that are not where you can get away from the city life. Now, I know you probably see the background here and think that this is, you know, pretty country, but it's not. It's just a little dead-end road, but it's, you know, this is by no means country lifestyle. Uh, I'm not saying we have to have country lifestyle to live, you know, but it's just, this is a big town, man, a big city. Working here is, and, and that's the thing, I was making more money working in Lafayette than I do here. The hourly wage pay for an HVAC technician in Lafayette is about four to five dollars an hour more in Lafayette than it is here in Baton Rouge so I told my wife I said look we need to figure out a way to get back to Lafayette I said I you know and I said you know if we can't find Jace that's our son's name Jace you know therapy then you know we'll just stay you know because ultimately he comes first so we actually asked his therapist, you know, we were straight up with her. We were like, look, we don't like it here. We hate it here. And she's, and you know, she, she understood, you know, she was like, well, you know, if you're not from here and didn't grow up here, a lot of people don't like it here, which we, we don't, we don't like it here. We're not happy, but we're, we're willing to, we were willing to, you know, <laughs> I guess be unhappy. I mean, 
y'all know what I mean, for our son to get the help that he needs. Well, they since we left Lafayette, if we'd have been a little bit more patient in Lafayette instead of leaving before we did, we wouldn't have had to leave. They've come, there's new programs that are out now, and there's actually programs that were there that we didn't know about. Uh, the whole time there was a program that that would do what, what the program he's in now here does. His therapist gave us the contact information and all that. My wife has everything in the works. So I'm very, very happy to say that we are going back to Lafayette, Louisiana. Thank God. I just, uh, Baton Rouge is just, the people here, not all the people, but the, it's, the people are different. They're not as friendly. We just, we don't like it. The, you know, the pay scale on HVAC is, like I said, about $5 an hour lower per hour than Lafayette. Uh, which, which, which is crazy. You would think it would be the opposite because this is such a bigger city, but it's, it's ridiculous. I mean, these companies around here, they don't pay HVAC techs worth a shit. You know, somebody with 16 years experience like me, the pay, the pay scale is ridiculous. You know, they, they want to pay you nothing and it's i've had enough of it you know the whole time we were in lafayette you know i guess we just we tried to research but i guess we just didn't find the right spots and he my wife's working on getting him in a uh program there but uh i'm gonna try to cut you know not drag on too long with this but basically what's gonna happen is at the end of july next month we're we're out of here we're going back to lafayette and it's just going to, I think it's going to be a lot better. So once I get settled there in Lafayette, I, I, I'm, I want to take, uh, you know, now I'm still going to continue the service videos here while I'm here. You know, I'll make some service videos and upload them. But I really want to push that uh, outlaws of HVAC with these guys to the next level. But I can't do that right now. So it'd be about a month or so. You know, Adam's trying really hard. He's bought a mixer and stuff and uh you know trying i know he's trying to work with the broadcasting software that's something that i may look into but you know again we're not trying to compete with anybody or you know do what anybody else is doing but we just want to be a little bit more professional with it but i can't concentrate on that right now because i have so much going on but i just have i just haven't been happy here at all my wife hasn't been happy here either so it's uh it's it's refreshing to know that we found something in Lafayette and that we can finally get back to Lafayette. So I'm, I'm pretty excited about that. Anyway, that's just an update. So we're, you know, once I get settled there, we're going to, we're going to take uh, the outlaws of HVAC and we're going to push that envelope. We're going to, you know, we're, we're going to, we're going to take the outlaws of HVAC to the next level. Uh, as far as Wednesday nights, you know, we want to try to get more people involved, attract new fans, you know, uh, believe me. I mean, we're getting the same, we're getting the same, group of people every Wednesday night, which we're not, I'm not complaining. Please, we love y'all. Continue to come. But we want to attract other people. We want to attract new viewers. We want we want to see people coming in that chat saying, hey, first time viewer here. You know, uh, enjoying it so far. That's what, that's what I'm after with the Outlaws. So, and I, I kind of want to uh, I want to beef up the giveaways on the Outlaws. Uh, you know, Basically, the channel is almost at a thousand subscribers, which which would make the channel able to be monetized. I want to take that money that the, that the channel makes from monetization and use that to buy tools to give away to the fans. So just you know, bear with me, hang in there, and we're gonna uh, we got good things coming. But I'm just wanted to let you guys know what's going on, and I'm just I'm I'm pretty happy right now. I'm in a good mood. I've been in kind of a kind of down in the dumps lately because it looked like we were going to be stuck here for many years, and it's it's refreshing to know that we're going to be able to get out of here. And I mean, look, I'm not saying that Baton Rouge is a horrible town. I mean, LSU's here. That's where Tiger Stadium is for football, the baseball, and all that. It's just it's I love it. I think it's a beautiful town. It's a great place to have fun, but it's uh, just not a place that I want to live my life. I, I, I love to come here for baseball games, football games, stuff like that. But as far as uh, to call this place home, it's, it's just not home. You know, when we left Alexandria, we were worried about that in Lafayette. But, man, Lafayette always felt like home. I mean, 
when we got to Lafayette, we were like, wow, we really like it here. So uh, Lafayette always felt like home. And Baton Rouge never did from the time we got here. So it, we're pretty happy to get out of here. No offense to anybody that lives here that watches me. It's just not the place for us. All right, guys, I just thought I'd sit out here and uh, shoot this video. Thank you all. Thank you for all the support. All the support you guys have given me over the years and continue to give me to this day. We'll see y'all on the next one.